Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested, and today I'm reviewing a show and tell, a first look at a new piece of kit, a new tool that was sent to us by our friends at iFixit. iFixit, as you well know, the purveyor of amazing toolkits, all sorts, from spudgers, drivers, disassembly tools, uh, and also their incredible repair guides and teardown videos that we've been following for the past decade and have been a really invaluable resource as we have covered uh, and explored technology on the channel. But what they're launching today uh, is a whole new category of tools under their FixHub brand and something they've been working on this past year, which is this soldering iron kit. It's actually two products, as we'll talk about, uh, but it's a USB-powered smart soldering iron, as they call it, and a competitor to, uh, to the type of soldering iron that's been really essential on one of our favorite types of soldering irons, the USB-C powered soldering iron that we discovered and we learned a couple of years ago. Uh, this one I bought about five years ago. Our friend Zach Radding first introduced this to us. And you may have seen these. These are really popular now. They, you can get them for about $80 uh, online. This one is the model TS80P, uh, and they're compact, they're portable, and they heat up fast. So comes in these two segments. You can see that's just a actually uh, like a headphone jack, uh, but plugs in, and there's a little bit of a tiny display here, two buttons, and in the back, a USB-C plug, which says uh, max 12 volt, 30 watts. So this one doesn't even need a ton of uh, power to uh, to charge. Um, I have uh, this in my travel toolkit with it. So a USB-C cable, rated for 100 watts, a about 65 watt power supply. Plug this in the wall or plug it into the power supply on my desk. Plug it in the back here and you're ready to go. Ready to do some simple soldering projects, electronics projects, whether you know I'm building small dioramas, lighting up LED kits, um, and this is something that I keep not only at home, but also if I'm traveling and want to go on the, uh, do a small project at a friend's house, also super easy to throw in my backpack. Um, love this for a long time, but there are some quirks with it, uh, primarily, uh, that ergonomically, while it's super lightweight, uh, it also makes it um, easy, uh, a little bit unwieldy uh, when I'm not using it or in the middle of soldering. So, like if I don't have a soldering stand to put it on, and there's no like this, you know, uh, place to put it on the table, uh, the tension on these USB cables, which are capped at a meter length, that have that reliability for 100 watts. Uh, makes it unwieldy to plug this into a power supply or plug into a power strip or some type of extension cord uh, or a wall wart if I need, or a wall outlet if I need to have this at a place I'm not familiar with, right? Like this is not very long. Um, if I have this plugged into, you know, a power strip on the floor, for example, the meter length makes it kind of taut to, to solder and I don't want to burn myself and that always ends up happening at some point. So the minor quirks with this form factor, which I think the iFixit team are aware of and which went into their design of this FixHub smart soldering iron and portable power station. So it's actually two products. They do sell the soldering iron by itself, uh, which is for $80. Again, similar price to what you'd find for the third party ones. And as I remove the cap from the battery, this is what you get for the $80. It's straightforward, similar form factor, like a pen-like form factor, soldering iron, has like the rubberized grip. It's three sides here, so good grip. Uh, in the back, very similar. It's USB-C port in the back. Uh, and as I remove this cap, it is a also detachable iron. Uh, this comes with a bevel tip, and there are a variety of other tips that iFixit will be selling. So, you know, form factorize, very, very similar idea, right? Iron, plug that in, plug it into USB power, same thing. Iron, plug it in here, plug it into USB power. Um, the big difference is there is no screen or adjustment on the iFixit soldering iron for me to adjust temperature. So there is a physical switch on the top, so I can switch it on and off, and there's actually a nice LED light ring around the center here uh, with three different settings. It'll tell you whether it's a safe temperature, it'll tell you whether it's heating up or cooling down to your desired temperature, and then it'll tell you when it's actually reached that desired temperature. These heat up pretty 
quickly. Also nice is that the USB cable they include does latch onto the back, uh, so it secures it. And so if I turn that, you won't be uh, easily able to unplug it and very easy to detach. Uh, the way you adjust temperature if you just buy this product is you can actually plug that USB-C cable into your computer, load up an app, and you can adjust temperature there. And it will re retain memory of the last, um, the last temperature setting that you set it at, as well as other settings like idle time. There's also a gyro, an accelerometer in here, uh, so it knows how long you haven't been using it. You just have it on a little stand or have it in this cap, for example, uh, and then it will cool down to a desired idle temperature. The cap is also unique to them. It's magnetically affixed, so it doesn't screw on or anything, but there's actually a temperature resistant cap, so it works as a kind of stand. So you, if you have this, if it's heating up or if it's hot, you can actually put it in the cap and it will be safe. Uh, but the whole idea is that this cap actually affixes into this other product, which is their portable power station. So let me do that right now. The cap just plugs in here. You push it in to hear a little bit of a click. It can be on the left or right side and it's now an angle. And so this is, I think, the real innovation with their soldering iron. Uh, this is pretty hefty because not only does it supply power with USB-C pass-through uh, to one of two ports, it actually has a big 55 watt hour battery on the inside, which means that you can actually power your soldering iron or power other USB-C power devices um, remotely, or on the go, without needing to plug it into a wall. It takes about two, hour to, two hours to charge with a 65 watt um, wall wart. And when you plug this in, like I don't have it plugged into the wall right now, you plug USB-C into one of the two ports, Solder iron goes back in the cap, plug it into the back, and then hold your blue power button on for three seconds, and then it powers on. Uh, the silver dial on the right lets you adjust temperature, desired temperature, and then if you press that button, there are a bunch of other settings like idle time, idle, idle temperature, max temperature, changing from Celsius to, to Fahrenheit. And again, if you unplug this uh, and you want to use it um, anywhere else, it will retain the last temperature, memory of the last temperature you set it at. It also heats up really quickly. And so to give you an example, it's blue right now, which means it's safe. If I flip the switch, it's turning purple, so it's heating up, and I can read that, wow, it's already at, let's say I wanna set it to 350 degrees, it's at 350 degrees. Orange means it is hot. Uh, it's a bevel tip, like I said, you can swap those with tips that they'll sell, and if I want to turn it off, I can flip it off, and then purple, as it's lowering temperature, while it's lowering, I can safely plug it back into the cap. Form factor wise, ergonomically, makes a ton of sense as I've been using it here on small projects as well. It's just nice to have something self-contained and not have to worry about extra cables uh, and just this one cable here. Speaking of cable, it only does include the one USB-C cable and something I was surprised to learn, it, it doesn't actually include the wall wart that you use to charge the portable power station or a secondary cable as well. I mean, iFixit will sell one and you can buy one relatively inexpensively, but I thought that'd be something that would make sense to include as well. It's an extra cable um, and something to actually charge this portable power station. They did throw in uh, a spudger and a small driver with some extra screws because the whole idea is that if this ever breaks, you can repair it, you can take it apart. They're all for that. There'll be guides for that online, but it's not cheap. Uh, the soldering iron itself is 80 bucks, which is I think reasonable for a good something with nice features that's nicely designed. Um, but if you want the whole kit and caboodle, a uh, soldering iron plus the portable power station, it's $250, which without including any extra tips or uh, you know extra wall wart, extra cable, uh, I feel like those things at that price should have been included. Um, but so far, really been enjoying using it. I mean, operationally for the type of electronics projects I'm doing, it's probably overkill. Uh, something like this, something that's even you know simpler will be sufficient. Um, but if you want something that will last, that you won't have to worry about it breaking down or something that you won't have to worry about not being able to repair down the line, 
uh, we trust iFixit as a brand. We trust the people behind it, their ethos, and the quality of the products they make. Uh, and it does seem like they put a lot of thoughtfulness into the design of this Fix Hub system. Um, can't wait to see what else they release in this line. And we'll be showing this to Adam, of course, and using it in future projects here on Tested. But all the information about the soldering iron, about uh, these new products are in the description below. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you at the next project. Bye. Thanks for watching that video. Your support allows us to make more of this great content. And if you'd like to help us further, help Tested.merch.com? Uh, tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. Head over to our merch store. Tested. What is it? Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. Head over to our store at Tested-store.com. I can't even read what I wrote. Tested. Dash. Dash. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I had to start that again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com.